Hi, my name's Diane. You're currently watching the Just Kidding Around show. Thank you so much for joining us. Each week, we like to invite artisans into the, from the community to um, demonstrate different activities to our, our home viewers. So we want to thank you for joining us. And this week, we are welcoming the Treehouse Lady, also known as Lynn Ruth. Hi, Lynn. Hi. And uh, before we get started, is there somebody you'd like to say hi to? Oh, I'd say hello to my mom and to Joni and to my good friend Gail. Okay. And I'd like to say hi to the students at South Bay and friends at Pleasant Glade, too. So, hi. And with that, let's get started. Okay. Um, uh, tonight, what I wanted to do is I wanted to show you a picture. It's right here. Uh, the model is, is uh, the Afghanistan refugee. Yeah, so that's the, sh the picture that this, we opened on. This is a blow-up of a, and this is my drawing. I was looking for the, uh, the photograph of it, and mm -hmm. I, I couldn't find it. But I think this speaks for itself. I could it's probably a, find that it, for you. So this, if this looks familiar, this was the picture that appeared, the photograph that appeared on uh, the cover of National Geographic. How many years ago? Maybe uh, 20? 20 or 30. Uh, really? That long 25 ago? 25 maybe, yeah. Uh -huh. And they did find her after many years. Isn't uh, that something? Uh, and and uh, she was our top model. We had her, we, she was the top. And every artist that is an artist that I the know top of. top model. Our top model for a photograph for National Geographic. It won oh. the 100 Years Award. Is that yeah, she right? was the, our top model. So uh, we used this unbelievable image. So what I did, um, I, I was I blew it up so you could see kind of get an idea of what what our goal is. And I, I'm a portrait artist, and I want to teach you the basics on how to draw faces. And I have a whole lot of pictures around the room, and I hope that they'll get a chance to look at them. And I have some from my students and okay. and stuff from myself and. Um, while I do this, I'll tell you a little bit about some of the stuff right. that I have That's available. That's amazing. So the is that the original or is this the original? This is the original. And, and I, so that was photocopy and enlarged. This was enlarged. Up. and um, But can we hold this one still? This is actually a, the original that you did yourself. This is the original. And you did that by looking at the National Geographic cover? Yeah. And how long did it take you to... Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe 10 hours. 10 hours. And is that your first attempt or did you throw away many? I honestly, I don't remember. Oh. <laughs> I don't. Well, I, it's I have taught this. I taught this at Juvenile Hall to um, the kids there, and um, this wow. was the first one that they ever did there. So I've done it probably several times, but this mm -hmm. went into my portfolio. So what I wanted to do was I actually removed her face because we don't have time to do the whole. All right. The whole. Sh thing but we have time to figure out the basics about what the face is made of and mm -hmm. and how and how what are the guidelines that we use to see our face mm -hmm. and to see our shadows and to know how things move in and out on our face and to and to create the illusion of depth on us on a flat surface so that's what you're going to do is create an illusion of depth but before we do this I'm just going to give you a piece of paper mm -hmm. And just just for fun, we're going to uh, draw a basic eye, and I would like you to take a pencil. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter. And I'm going to draw it kind of dark so the cameras can see this. But the, the eye itself is in the shape of like an almond, like this. So this would be like, this is like your almond shape right here. And what... We do after we've got the almond okay. shape. You got the you bottom. Just hold it. Yeah, I, well, I think one of the cameras maybe might actually be on it. Okay. Okay. Got it. More or less. You got it. You do got I it. have it? You got okay, it. Okay, I got now, it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put a marble inside the almond. The marble is uh, stuck in the almond. I say to the kids, it's stuck in the almond. You can only see the sides. You can't see the top or the bottom. Just the sides and you outline it and outline it and outline it and in the middle of the of that remember that's the iris is you'll put a pupil right here and this is your pupil it's pretty much in the center it doesn't have to be completely round it can be kind of beat up looking and then then attach a little piece to the pupil oh really and that little piece is the the reflective light oh my goodness in your eye if you look if you were to look at somebody in with light on their face mm -hmm. you'll see a white dot and that's reflective light and then the rest of this is a quickly we'll just put it in like this is just shaded in as if it's a sunburst moving away from the center 
Oh, wow. I've never had that detailed uh, description on drawing the eye. Just to make sure that you don't go on the reflective light, and that's re that's the important thing because so this now you did go over your reflective light. Well, it's okay. The re I will erase it. The reflective ah. the reflective light uh, is what will make the illusion of round. It'll make the eyeball look like hmm. it's really round. And then above that is the eyelid crease, and that's all we're going to practice on this one. I'm going to help you along as we go the rest of the way. Okay, so what is that the lid that you just put there? The this is the eyelid crease right here, and and this is the lid, and it and this is what makes the eye look real is is this line right here. This line this, this line needs to be really dark. Now we're using just a pencil that somebody could have at home. Anybody a simple can do number two pencil. Any, is there a better choice pencil that maybe somebody could use? I would use a number two to start out with, and then go and get some graphite pencils and experiment. Mm. You know, it's the um, graphite is just a darker tone, and and I like to use pencil personally, but. My students, if you look around at some of these drawings, they, these professional looking drawings, um, they have chosen to uh, use graphite and really make it dark. So these, these um, all of these pictures are that are around us are all drawings? Not any, none of them are photographs, none is are that right? None are photographs. And how old are your students? Uh, well, these particular ones are probably 12 and up. Twelve and up. Twelve and up. Oh my goodness! But, uh, They're amazing. Aren't they beautiful? It's amazing what someone can do with just a white piece of paper and a pencil, and now, they look real. The I had, now Blake wow. came in and Blake came in and he wanted to do a drawing and uh, he brought he wanted to use graphite pencils. He'd never done it before and mm -hmm. and it, it he used watercolor paper and the little pock marks hmm. in the watercolor paper mm -hmm. gave him the texture and the depth to actually create the image better. Mm -hmm. So maybe maybe watercolor paper is a good idea. It depends on what you want. Now, Blake's uh, uh, drawing is the one of Bob Marley standing behind. Uh, Bob Marley? Yeah, is that's, that that's right here? Right behind you. Over my shoulder? Right behind you. Is and it? OK, it looks like This one right it. here, actually. This one right here. Which that's Bob Marley. That's Blake's. Oh, that's, I see. That's Blake's. Behind me with the. How old is Blake? Blake is, he just turned 17. And he's, the photograph we're talking about is the he guy had with the never, guitar. He became, he's a genius. He's never, he, we all, none of us knew he could do that. He didn't know he could do that, mm -hmm. but he can do that. Isn't that amazing? And that's a beautiful thing. And one thing that you do once you've got your eye is you... you awesome. Doesn't that look like a photograph? It looks like a black one. Isn't that photo. beautiful? So he looked at a photograph and just... And he produced that. Oh. He produced that very quickly. So is that normally <laughs> not in normal? His home? <laughs> not normal. No, no. Is that normally his home, or do you own these? Um, I'm showing them for him. You're showing. I'm going to put them on a circuit and show him. Now okay. this is um, your eye, Diane, and and you have the the white of the eye mm -hmm. and the dark lid and the eyelid crease, but the the part that makes it come alive. Oh, it's Really nice. That's that's right. really now, how nice. did you get all this smudge in here? You, though? I would just use a Kleenex. Okay. And you just come in and you rub it like this. Oh, I don't even have to. You don't have to do anything more than just rub oh, it. Oh, I see. And you so created the excess. illusion of an eye. Wow. This way? just like the teacher. This way? Just hold it still and they'll get it no matter how you do it. There it is. Okay. okay. There are eyes. Now that's, that's probably just a, a basic on how to build an eye. Mm -hmm. A real simple eye, but it's, it's just, we that all have... That has depth all, to it. We I all can have yeah. um, that kind of thing. Now mm -hmm. I'm going to take you over to um, this. Mm -hmm. And I removed your face because I just wanted you to practice. And... I'm just going to give you the guidelines on how to build a, the face. Okay. So, and did you show did you show our viewers what what we're doing here? I took her face out of it. Does it does that one? So you took your original drawing. Did no, you? no. I just this is it right here. Right. And and I took the Copied face it. out of it. Now we're going to draw right. the face. That way we're not overwhelmed. That's clever. So you did that much so, for your um, students. All we're going to okay. do is just this much. We're going right. to learn how to do the face. 
Okay, so here we go. I'm going to give you some of the structure for building the face. Um, it goes across here, right? This, the, these little dips right here are, di are, are mm. temples, and we make, we make a cross, just like that. And that's going to guide you through the whole process. Does that cross have to be that dark? Well, I did it so the camera can see it. Can they, I don't know if they can see it. Maybe they can't oh, see it. Oh, they're experts. They can find it. Just I give cannot. them a little time. Just don't move it around. Just hold it there, though. They'll get it. Okay, There's so we put a cross. There's a cross. Now, mm -hmm. what we'll have is equal distance from the very center of the drawing right here. We'll have equal distance out to this eye and this eye. So here's the almond-shaped eye. Mm -hmm. What I want you to do is I kind of tell my kids to go, just put your fingers here and, right. and look at it and say, I, I, it's not the, f the width of the finger, but it's about like this. And um, so that they're equal distance from the center. And then go ahead and draw your eye. That same almond the same that we almond already did. Eye. So the finger's width. And the now only she's thing, turning the to only the thing side, that though. That is a little bit of a turn, not much. Okay. So this eye over here is going to be a little bit smaller than the other side. And she and her eyes are are pointed upward like this. See? Okay. Just like that. Now, was she from Afghanistan? She was. She was a refugee. She had a lost refugee. her family. Family. The, the uh, photographer caught her at this moment of just, she was terrified of everyone and everything. Oh. And she was such a beautiful person, beautiful, physically beautiful girl that mm -hmm. she just captured the the world with her beauty. Yes, she did capture the world. And it, 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 it's a shame that they didn't find her sooner so they could have honored her because mm -hmm. we used her image for all those years. Did she ever know that she, she was know. this famous? She, she had no know. idea. She didn't even know. I mean, really, we uh, pay our models quite well, but, yeah. she, but she, we never found her. Hmm. So, so now she is aware that her... She's aware now. Mm -hmm. She's aware now. A modern day Mona Lisa. Almost. Yeah, she is. And and this eye over on this side will be a little bit larger. Now okay. I have a story to tell. A boy uh, contacted me recently, and he wanted to bring in his pictures that I, so I could show them. And he was my student when he was um, ten and eleven years old, and he's now eighteen. Hmm. And he brought in. He, the, I kept a piece of his, it's been in my home all these years because he's so talented. And it is the picture of the little girls sitting over there. And um, there, I actually had a competition between my students. One was a girl that was just my top student and then, and then he did one. And I, I loved them both, but I actually liked his a little better because he cast a shadow mm -hmm. uh, outside of the picture. And that's behind us too. And that's behind us, and and that's Garrett when he was eleven. The one with the, the shadow, one, one, the one that was shadow oh, was cast. I see. He did that when he was a ten and eleven years old. <gasps> Up on the pedestal, he brought in recently the Bob Marley. Oh, so the same person, it's a different Mar Bob Marley. Not Blake, it's another boy, mm -hmm. and okay. he just came in and he brought in. Isn't interesting? They both like to draw. Uh, they didn't forget to draw after all that mm -hmm. time. The girl had a portfolio with Walt Disney Studios, and she turned out to be a professional singer oh. of all things. I don't know. Well, sometimes it's just people amazing what they are can. art, artistic. You know, arts in it's, different forms. I mean, music and theater definitely. and drama. And now, this girl, this girl, this was her first attempt at drawing. Um, and she did, she wanted to do this very picture. And I thought she just did a fantastic job. She's, she's a 12 year old. Oh. Isn't that just beautiful? Now we, we showed that one once before. So, see, I thought you had done that one too. No, this is but by a, young a 12 girl year old. That? Yeah, this is oh, by a 12 year old. Isn't goodness. that just gorgeous? So she figured mm. out how to do the smudging and to really develop the picture. So smudging is a big part of developing I do it. it. You know, a lot of, a lot of, uh, Art teachers don't do it. Some some want to do it. Some think you shouldn't do it. My feeling is you should do it. You mm -hmm. should you should be able whatever helps you to be successful. Do it. Now I'm going to give you a quickie on this on on these eyebrows. The, her eyebrows are so stunning, and you just do little lines. Is that short, what made her lines. so captivating? The no, eyebrow? actually it wasn't. Her 
was her green eyes. That's what I wondered, the color of those eyes. It was her green eyes, uh -huh. an unbelievable, beautiful uh -huh. girl. Anyway, Garrett's picture, uh, he chose Bob Marley, too. He goes to the same school as Blake. I think that's real interesting that they both love Bob Marley. Uh, that's kind of unusual, yeah, because isn't Bob Marley... Did he die? Yeah, he's gone. Yeah, he's been gone. He's gone. Long time he's ago. gone. And I guess the kids just like his music. Um, and that that's fine. Um, then below the, the little girls over there, um, I had a girl that had Tourette syndrome. Do you know what that oh, is? Oh, sure, yeah. And uh, she's actually recovered from that. I cannot. You can recover from I Tourette's. I didn't think she. I didn't think anybody. I didn't could. know anybody could. I, she did. And and she did one of these. Art, she did, did the arts? one. With, she did the one with the hand. She spent the summer with me. And, and where is that one? Uh, it's the girl, the beautiful woman with her hand up by her neck. She <gasps> oh had Tourette's syndrome, and she just and she. Uh, uh, it was. And just, was I won't girl, tell you what what occurred, but it was yeah. just a really hard hard reality for anybody. Right. Yeah. And um, and she actually re recovered and got over it. I have no idea why. And, and how old was she when she did that? She picture? was sixteen. Sixteen. Yeah. I wonder if um, art is good therapy for Tourette's. I think she did a lot of therapy, really. Mm. But you know, her mom really, uh, really helped her. Uh, I'm, I'm just pulling in the hair a little bit. I lay the okay. pencil down on my, on the side like this, and I pull it this way and that way like this. But you know, it was such an honor to work with her, and she had such a great attitude. Although she was just really in bondage mm -hmm. to that, and I, I, I just was. She blessed me far more than I blessed her. Okay, so thing. now we're pulling the hair I, in. What see, about the part? I'm holding that. I'm kind, yeah, I'm kind is of, there a pencil like that for me? This uh, one? Just the uh, same? Use mine. You use sure? Mine. Yeah, we'll switch. We'll do a switch. I have some little short okay. guys here that I like too. Um, oh, yeah, this pencil seems to have. It's, it's darker. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to, to outline this line right here. You can kind of see where it is right there. Mm -hmm. That's the, the hairline. And you do it as dark as you can. And this also is a dark pencil for you if you'd like to try that. Okay, I'll try that one too. And then how do you get the part in? Well, the part, you you know, you can go over this any way you want. I follow the line of the hair, and then uh, I take the eraser. But I can also start here. See how I pick my pencil up and move from mm -hmm. it like that, this mm -hmm. way and that way? And then I'm going to just rub this. And I have mm -hmm. I have a hair cap on her, and she's ready to go. Mm -hmm. Five minutes, huh? Mm -hmm. So uh, let's do the nose. I'm going to help you real quick with the nose. It's, okay. it's, it's actually I'm going to help you with the distance it is from away from the eyes. It's not as far as you think. You put a line here, and you put a circle here, like this, and then you put parentheses like in a sentence. <laughs> And this this is the this is the line you want. It looks like a bird. Look at that, Diane. Isn't that just cool? How beautiful is that? Okay, this, I'm going to have like to have you. I'm still on the hair here. Okay, you move on, move on, because we're okay. running out of time. So here so, we go. So put it. Let me make sure that a you get circle. your circle is right about there. A little circle there. Yeah. No, you go ahead and fill it in a little bit like this. Okay. And then you can put the parentheses and then the, the nostrils, and I'll help you with that. I had a, a student do this and. Um, it took her 40 noses to get her nose. 40 <laughs> noses! On the same gal? <laughs> or on different? No, I don't, maybe it was. I don't remember. Uh, but it, 40 noses. So parentheses and then my little bird, you say? Yeah, watch. It's, here's the circle. Right. And then you go, and just below it, you make a little bird. Is that okay? That's good. That's not too That's big for her. very good. Is now, it? Now, okay. there, now, see the shadow right here? Watch yeah. this. If I do it in circles, I can do it real quick. Like okay. that. And then we'll pull that up. And then, it's okay. There it is. Now we're going to go down. What's this called right here? I have no idea. I um, don't know. But uh, it's this little di divot right here. And then below that is your mouth. And I'll do a real quick show you a mouth. A mouth is a dip, another dip, and then a little bit bigger dip right down below. Three dips. And then you pull it in the direction you want your mouth to go. You pull okay. it down like a mountain hill, mm -hmm. and then you pull it out this way, and then you pull it out this way. 
And since I got the, the, the whole thing a little bit too large, I'm just going to crop it up there. Okay? So all I'm going to do is I'll let you go ahead and okay. erase this part right here. Well, I did, but... A little bit more. I think erase more? Just a little bit more. Okay, so after you smudge it, then you start using your eraser? You use your eraser okay. to develop it. Now, I can do on here. I can pull this way, see? So you're pulling it down with look your at eraser, this. Look too. At, look, at, look at what I'm doing. See? Look okay. at the head. I hope the cameras can get, can get all this. Three-dimensional. Okay. And her hair just came around, or is that her scarf that's coming around? Um, that's her hair. Is and that her hair that her came scarf. clear this down is, to her this is, this chin? This is her scarf. Okay. And you just fill it in around her face. And I know we're not going to have time to finish it, but... Um, it's a good study. It's a good way to learn how to figure out where your light and your mm -hmm. light. Oh, and you've your taught us a lot about smudging, and I'm so glad you brought um, your students' work. There's some work down there that was was done. I can't remember what it is. Did we talk about this picture right here? Who who did that? Um, that was done by Garrett, the guy, the boy that did the little girl. He did this one. In a, um, oh. Isn't that beautiful? Did he look at somebody, or did he look at a photograph? I think he looked that? at a photograph for it, and I don't know who it's supposed to be, but it sure is a, a beautiful impact, isn't it? Beautiful. Did a really, job. really very thought-provoking. Looks so real. Just a beautiful job. And see the light in the dark, and how mm -hmm. see how how dark the lip and is. And he did and a lot of is. yes, he did a lot of smudging on that. Too. Lots That's of just smudging. Beautiful. This is uh, some work that I did. Um, Helen Hunt and uh, my little sister. Oh, Helen Hunt, the movies? Uh, the yeah. actress. Oh, that does uh, look like, um, okay. My little sister, and I don't remember who the others are. Uh. And then down here, uh, um, there's some pictures by my students. Uh, there's one in particular on the bottom that's really amazing of a little boy that did the hand of God touching, what is that, Michelangelo? And when... He shows the finger touching, mm -hmm. uh, and this little boy is 10 years old, and he did that. I was like, oh, my wow. gosh, where did he do that? How could he do that? Mm -hmm. Now, another way to quickly do it is to figure out where your light and your shadow is mm -hmm. and just go like this and do it. Put a real quick uh, a shadow line on here. Mm-hmm. And then we smudge and that in. You know, that cross you that you erased, started with has you disappeared. Erased, you erased, yes. Should that, the cross you start You're with? You're going to erase it. Yeah, you want to erase it. Okay. Well, I think we're going to have to start wrapping up, but I want to thank you so much. You see how so interesting that So much for be? coming. Yeah. You isn't did. That, really? Isn't that fun? Now look at mm -hmm. how fun. Put a yeah. little bit of lines inside your eye and you'll have okay. a Okay, I'll rest. start working on that. And I want to thank you, home viewers, for joining us. Thank um, the people in the control room, which would be Bruce Tenney and Tom Dubuque. Thank, thanks to our wonderful cameramen, Jerry Julian, Bob Giles, and Jim Elder. And congratulations. Did you know that one of our cameramen just became a grandpa? A That'd grandpa. be Jerry Julian. So thank you. Very Tune in good. again sometime yeah. to the Just Kidding Around show. Bye. Bye-bye.